It is the end of the year, so my sister and I plan a grand vacation at the luxury Crown Hotel. This is also the first time we're going to stay at the hotel alone by ourselves, so we're pretty nervous but exhilarated at the same time. Today is Christmas, so every grand hall at Crown is lavishly adorned. Okay, we just finished the chicken procedure, and now let's go see the room. I booked a deluxe king room that features a walk-in dressing room, a king-size bed, and a stunning city view. The room also has a small bar section, including an espresso coffee machine, a selection of drinks, snacks, and tea making facilities. I like the bedroom most, it's absolutely breathtaking with double marble vanities, a huge bed top and a separate shower. This bedroom is like a dream. Like all the hotels, it has almost every amenity and hygiene products. Shave kit, dental kit, makeup removal, comb, etc. Obviously, we won't be using all of them, but it's still pleasant to see them well prepared and puzzled up nicely in a drawer. Now let's go check some lunch options at the food court. Time is quite tight, so we're going to choose what we already know. Chinese food would be a go-to option today. We both don't feel like eating a lot, so here's just a dish of stir-fry noodles, honey chicken mixed with sweet and sour pork. Oh, 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 oh,
so so full now. Gotta take a short walk before having the spa. Okay, we're all ready for the spa. Let's go. What caught our eyes at the beginning was a large waiting room with some sweets and fruits on display. Oopsie! Next up on our left is a row of lockers and if we keep going this way down to the left, we'll reach the bedroom. We have roughly 45 minutes before the appointment, so we're gonna utilize this time to have a sauna and aqua retreat. I booked one hour facial treatment for two people, the experience was superb. Afterwards, we were all scented with jasmine and our facial skins were so much smoother and shinier. A staff member knocked on our door and gave us this. This is so sweet of them. I made a reservation at an Italian restaurant for tonight's Christmas party. It was already super busy when we arrived, so the staff were not really attentive, but that is totally understandable. The food was delicious. I love the pizza most, but my sister favors the pasta dish more. And of course, finally created parmesan is never enough. And now it's time for the two of us to spend some private time alone. Let's start with making a decaf coffee. Next, I prepare bath water for a relaxing soak afterwards with a bath bomb. December is summer in Australia, so it's already 8.30pm but still as bright as the afternoon. Still a good time for a coffee, right?
I tried the sakura bath bomb from Lush this time um, with the main ingredients of orange flower, lemon oil, jasmine absolute and fine sea salt. It does have a very nice floral scent but it was a little bit disappointing as we were expecting a more colorful and fun experience. Good morning! Today is our second but also our last day here. Let's enjoy a nice breakfast buffet before checking out. I was really looking forward to this meal as I have heard about it a lot. My first dish consisted of oat porridge, uh, some shumai, mushrooms, uh, bacon, sausage and a slice of bread. Too typical, right? Then I finished my breakfast meal with a DIY milk tea. After checking out, we will catch a city tram to the CBD and take a stroll before returning home as our mind is still on cloud 9. The weather also gets hotter, so why not go for a cold drink, right? We had such a wonderful Christmas even though it was only a short two-day experience, which already gave us a lot of motivation to go to work. Um, although it's still early, but let's call it a day.